Joe Weiskamp got a two-year, $4.4 million deal, I believe it was, that Adrian Wojnarowski tweeted out. Two years, according to Mark Barnstein, Bar- Bartlestein, I guess, a priority sports tells ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski. Now let's talk about it. Why did they bring him back? 41st pick in the second round of the NBA draft in 2021. And he's a guy who played about like 29 games for the Spurs last year, six, seven. And a lot of people at first glance would say, oh, he's a more athletic Duncan Robinson. I think he's more than that. Okay. If you looked at him in the Austin on the Austin Spurs in 18 games, he shot 38% from three, 48.7% from the field, 17 points a night, four rebounds, two assists was getting a steal, almost steal and a half a game with a little under half a block. And his efficiency was 16. And in college, he was a guy who was capable of being a plus defender. I think Joe Wieskamp's a more athletic Max Struess, but I don't even think that's a good comparison. What I really think Joe, you know, Joe Wieskamp can be is at the very least, I think Joe Wieskamp. Did I say Wieskamp? Joe Wieskamp. I don't know why sometimes I switch to Wieskamp, but Joe Wieskamp is a guy that floor, floor Tony Snell. I think if he develops like the lowest, I think he could be a very similar player to Tony Snell. I know Tony Snell has a little bit longer wingspan, but basically just a guy who comes in and can be a positive on the offensive side by shooting three. Like It's just that sometimes I know that Joe can be a little gun shy, but really I think let me let me tell you what I, I truly believe about him, okay? I think he's a guy that has a lot of a lot of pizzazz. And my my one thing is he's not a he's not a shot creator, okay? And I know that's gonna upset a lot of people that I say that, but he has talent. He has talent. He played at Iowa, which was good, okay? And six seven. 205 pounds, okay? And this was a guy who had a 42 inch vertical. A lot of athleticism. Six foot 11 wingspan. This is why I think he's a legit floor spacing wing. And at the very least, he has great size and length. At his floor is Tony Snell, which is like not a bad player. And for me, I think there's a lot of similarities between, you know, Duncan Robinson and Max Struess. Both are, you know, all three of them are bigger, about six foot seven shooters that. Size plays a pivotal role in their ability to get off shots. Other elite shooters can't from the wing. With that being said, Weiss camp is definitely a le- lesser version of Struess or Robinson. That's why I compare him to Tony Snell as of right now, shooting wise, as you know, the two Miami heat players are way better at, you know, coming off of screens and have that instincts and are just a bit better shooters. Not like by much, Given the weaknesses that, you know, Camp has that are like Robinson, there are true diminishing returns if he's, you know, 80% of what either Struess and Robinson are. And those skills are all teachable and learnable. And it's up to Camp to get to that point where he's not just go- good at running, you know, running down the court and getting to his spot, but actually becoming elite at creating his sh- shots for himself to draw defenders and get those three-point shots. Because he's only going to be really a floor spacing guy who's going to hit the score from three-point shots or slash into the basket and like he has a lot of athleticism but so with that being said i think joe Wisecamp is a guy that like i don't think he's an m at an nba level he's not a shot creator he just doesn't have that level of handle he will pl- purely be a floor spacer and a score by three-point shooting and with that being being said, I think he could be a really good pure spacer. And it's really not the worst thing in the world that he's not a great ball handler or a good passer. But again, I think he's a guy that is overlooked and could have a valuable part in the rotation. And again, he was one of the best NBA draft combines of any player in his draft class. He had great you know, testing, athleticism, and played exceedingly well in the five-on-five. So, again, he's somebody you should be keeping your eyes out for because legitimately he's a guy, he's a cat, he's a cat. And just pay attention because I think he's going to be a guy who could break out sooner rather than later. 
for the Spurs, okay? And check them out. Let me hear your thoughts down below. Do you guys think this was the right move by them to give him a two-year deal? And basically, we're going to see how it goes for him. I think it'll be good. It'll be a well-earned experience. Let me hear your thoughts down below. I love y'all.